Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Hey YouTube, Long Boys Post 1975. Uh, it's Wednesday, so welcome to the Wednesday vlog. Just got back from work. It's about, actually, I've got no idea what time it is, but I'm pretty sure it's before 7 a.m. Anyway, got myself a bevy. First thing you do, or uh, your know, first rule of your first thing you do on your first day off from work, that got away from me, is a bevy. At least it is in my world. Actually, the first thing you do is you let your dog out. So they can poop and go pee and potty and stuff because better outside than inside because I'm dog sitting. Now, uh, this is a, a weird one. <clears throat> um, how should you go about vlogging on YouTube and how do I? Now, I was asked this question. I got a PM in Facebook uh, from, I love the, the, the people, you know, feel they can ask me questions on Facebook. And, and if you, anyone who has a question out there, ask me on Facebook. I very, very seldom, if ever, check my inbox on YouTube because quite frankly I think whatever it is once upon a time it was brilliant I used it all the time and then you know Google's continual picking at the scab till it gets infected and everyone gives up on it just ruined it but yeah I got an asked I got an asked I got asked a question which is you know how, how do I determine or decide what I vlog about and then how do I you know sit down and approach or go about doing it in front of camera and do I have um, any tips and advice uh, first of all I, you know I am certainly no expert and um, you know voice of authority on this so you know I'm not arrogant enough to presume I even am so you know this might I've got no idea how to approach this now um, which we'll get to because that's kind of one of the things I like about what the way I vlog so I'm gonna kind of wing it and just talk about it as I go along so uh, the person has to remain anonymous but they want tips because they're thinking about doing it themselves so my first advice to them is um, these are just tips well, this is no not even that this is the way that I choose to vlog that does not make it right that does not make it wrong same with anyone out there in YouTube land or any form of uh, media where you, you vlog to a camera because everyone is different everyone is unique everyone's personality is different taste subjects of interest is all different all these things kind of go into a mixing bowl and spur out spur out blur out oh my god blurt out the 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 vlogger or the vloggy afterwards um, so how do I go about doing it? All right. Well, the first thing I would say is, you know, the key is topics. Um, excuse me, Wendy Pops. Liver and bacon for breakfast. Saucy. How do I determine my topic? Uh, I think this is just me. And again, this is just what works for me. You're going to hear that a lot. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't look for topics as such. I let them. I let them find me. You know everything that goes on around you, life. Um, you know, uh, conversations around you, um, friends, uh, work colleagues, uh, out and about, watching public and stuff like that. People's conversations, people's ignorance. This is a rich tool that you can use for subjects. Um, but let it find you. Just you know, this is what I don't. I, I keep a clear mind and I don't think about what I want to talk about. I just let, oh, that's interesting, and then let the idea just roll. Uh, I don't, when I say I don't look for a topic, I don't, you know, scour through the news for the newspapers. I mean, sometimes, very rarely, I will come across something not looking for it in the newspaper where I think, actually, I need to talk about that. But <clears throat> I don't go looking for a topic because I find then you kind of, I don't know, worry about, so this is my sort of observation upon it. Um, and not, you know, just me, but on a few other, you know, things, uh, channels I've seen, which is if you're looking for something, then you would try and want it to appeal to the biggest mass or audience, which there's nothing wrong to with that. But then you might not necessarily be focused on it or invested in it. And you're talking about it because you think it's something good to talk about, but not something that's good for you to talk about. It might come across as, I don't know, there's no passion or a little bit forced or a little bit fake. Now, before everyone says, oh, but loads of people do this. What about Rich or You Take USA? But these are professional vloggers and this is what they do. And, you know, they go after news articles. 
that's because they can do it. They've got an eye for it. I'm talking about people like me. I can't do that. I just, you know, from time to time it may pop in there, but I can't do that. I'm just, you know, just a random bloke who sits in front of his camera on his days off. It's not my job. I don't have an eye for these things. <clears throat> So yeah, let, let it let it find you. Like almost all of my topics come from just talking to friends uh, and people's opinions. Like I've always said before, ignorance is a brilliant source of inspiration, especially when it comes to gaming and retro gaming. To people outside the medium who don't understand it or the hobby, you know, or the, you know, <clears throat> particularly retro collecting, I should say. Excuse me. Then when it's how do you you know <clears throat> sit down and vlog? I I don't you know should you script? Should you you know research it? Um, you know, they're not bad things. You know, some people can, some people can. Uh, I choose not to. I think there's something very engaging. At least this is what I like about vloggers, or I look for vloggers, which is um, <clears throat> someone just sits in front of you and talks about it, uh, almost like a conversation with someone across a table, you know, like at dinner or in the pub or whatever, which is, they're like, hey, I heard this, and then just start going on, and it's coming out of them on the spot, and it's literally, because it's just really honest, you know, really, really visceral, that it's just on the spot, it's coming out, and they're thinking about it, not making it up, but thinking about it as it goes along, that, I like that, it feels like a bouncing off conversation, I don't think I'm talking to a camera, I, I, I think I'm talking to people, so that's my approach, you know, obviously maybe tick a few boxes, <clears throat> if it's a serious topic, uh, you know, not just something like, you know, my friend said this to me, or whatever, like I generally do, but but I don't, I don't research it, I don't prepare, I literally just, I have, a, a, you know, a topic in my head uh, and a title so I can kind of focus on it a little bit, if that makes sense, so I can kind of be aware of what I'm talking about, be aware of what you're talking about, but then just, just go for it, just be in the moment, that is what I look for in a, a vlog, uh, a vlogger, and I think that's quite, you know, quite, quite a few people do, I mean obviously there are going to be people who are completely into their facts and statistics and want someone to literally sit there and just <clears throat> quote and, you know, just do statistics up, you know, up the wazoo, but I, you know, I just, I just, I, I like to be in the moment, I just like to sit there and be completely honest and just go for it sure there'd be mistakes sure you know I might stumble over my words sure you know um, <clears throat> some of it you know what might just come across after I watch it back um, embarrassing and cringeworthy but that's what I like about it about being in the moment about being honest it's you know like we don't you know when you're talking to a mate at work or you know down the pub and you you trip over your words or you make a mistake you don't worry about it you just carry on so there's no difference here when you vlog you know we're not we're not news readers is, you know we're not this is not tv we're not but like sat in a studio I, I think to procrastinate over every mistake or something and think i must edit that or i must get rid of it I, I don't you know no just remember what you are you're just vlogging on a camera to youtube to like-minded individuals who have an interest in what you, you've got to say they're not going to see you like you do when you watch back and edit it and go you fuck that up you fuck that up you fuck that up that's wrong that's incorrect he stammered oh i'm done with this guy i'm off you know that's that's you know just don't worry about it just be in that comes back to what i said which is being in the moment the other thing i would say which is and this guy asked me which is what style should i use or how, how do you do it you do, that's it, you don't, you just, you just, just think of something you want to talk about, don't research it, and just sit there and give it a crack, you know, have a pop at it, um, <clears throat> it might be nervous at first, you know, everyone starts from nothing and everyone has nerves at first, it's weird, I can't remember, you know, finding it awkward to talk to a camera, but then I, that was five years ago, but I do know certainly I must have been shit in my pants at some point, but, and some of my early stuff, and some of it's always been deleted because of music in the background and stuff like that before YouTube got heavy-handed or Google did, so I didn't want to risk it. But some of them were terrible, and they were so stiff and, you know, embarrassing for me to watch back and just, like, awkward and, like, like who's watching this guy? So it's just, it's, you've got to find um, <clears throat> your sort of personality. I can't think of the word I've got. So here you go, you know, I'm a screw-up. You've got to find your feet, you've got to find your comfort zone, so you just do it, whether you make them live or not. I mean, I would all say look back at it if it's unlisted, you know, on YouTube, just to get a feel for what it looks like on that environment. But, you know, do it, look at it, and just do it until you, you know, you're comfortable. Never look at someone else and say, I should do what they're doing, because you can't, because you don't have that person's in, uh, personality, uh, you know, um, taste or whatever you know and taste is very subjective so you, you can never look at someone else and just go um 
that's how I should be doing it. Because it's not like that. Because everyone is an individual. And everyone will have their own unique style based upon everything that's ever happened to them, how they've been surrounded, how they've grown up, the events that have led them to that moment to sit in front of a camera and talk about something. Yours would be completely and utterly different to what that individual's are. So he couldn't do it the way you, you would do it and you can't do it the way he, he would do it. There's, you should always remember that. There's, there's no right or wrong way and you, you can be inspired by someone by all means. You can be inspired by someone. That's brilliant. But, that you know, it ends there. It doesn't mean that the inspiration means that therefore they're, um, they're God's word on it and that's the approach you must take and that's, you know, that is the, 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 the um, <clears throat> staple template for a vlogger. This really has got away from being really, really difficult. But that's, you know, that's how I think you should vlog on YouTube. The, the, the topic is irrelevant. The topic is determined by what, you know, you're interested in. Well, I, I guess what the theme running across your YouTube channel is. But, you know, how you do it, be honest. This is, again, this is just me, my thoughts. It's just be honest, be yourself, uh, you know, don't think too hard don't worry too much and above all don't try too hard you don't well i mean i've met some people who do but you don't when you have a conversation with your uh, your, your friend in a pub just go right i must absolutely overwhelm him blow his mind so he just sits there and just thinks this guy is fucking awesome because people will never think that you just you just go with the flow and do whatever you know makes you comfortable makes you happy because uh, as I said, there is no, you know, right or wrong way to do this, and these are just, you know, because I was asked it, but how do I, you know, how do I, you know, think you should vlog on YouTube? Ultimately, they were the things I would suggest, but it's, it's completely down to you. Anyway, I would love to know what you guys out there think. Those of you who do vlogs, you know, um, what do you think, you know, or how, how do you choose to do it? What determines, you, you, you know, the way you interact, your mannerisms, your, your subject matter? And those of you who um, don't, vlog uh what do you look for in a vlogger what, you know what what you know across the board you know depending on who it is you know are there different things but is there a, like a general you know sort of theme across it what makes you happy what do you click on a video in a sub box and just think i must i must watch this i'd love to know anyway thank you very much for watching and i'll see you later